I bet you never tell me what we are making today. Yes, cold pizzle, beef pizzle. Do you know what that is? Found these at the market co um, the other day. Anyway, it's cold cut. You might have guessed it. Cold cut soup we're making today. I always promised I was going to give that to you. And I have to give you a joke. Went to the market and I saw it and I didn't know what they were. Cold pizzle, beef pizzle. So I asked the guy. And this is what he showed me. <laughs> Ask a Spanish guy. <laughs> oh my God. That's how he pumped his hand to show me what it is. And everybody, you know, mostly West Indian was standing there, uh, was laughing. Oh my God. That's so, it didn't need any uh, other, other answer. Anyway, uh, um, uh, you know, this is the food I'm going to put in. So I'm just showing you. I found cocoa at the market. This is, this is a um, Korean market up here. Uh, yellow yam, you know, and thyme and whatever. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, one or two bananas and stuff and my dumplings. Can't miss that. Anyway, I put in all the, you know, like the, um, the pumpkin and so on and the carrots in there to boil. And then I cut and wash and cut the, um, the cow pizzle, <laughs> the cow card, I, I put them in to cook, uh, <laughs> and I put in the corn because corn take long to cook. I always put the corn in um, early. So after I put in all the cow pizzle, <laughs> I um, <laughs> can't stop laughing. I laugh all the way home just thinking about how the guy pump his hand. <laughs> I guess it means strength, strong, mm, you know. <laughs> anyway i'm cooking in an instapot today uh you know it's a pressure cooker and uh, um instapot you know I, I don't remember all this stuff anyway i i proceeded to peel all the food you know and put them in uh yam the cocoa and banana potato whatever food you have you know you use it so i had to take the, the coca out because it was getting soft and I pressured it for 20 minutes so I took them out while I put in the food so that the food could cook and they won't you know the, the cow card wouldn't mash up too much um, hopefully everybody can understand me when I talk my patois <laughs> I know a lot of people watch this channel that don't speak patois but um, you might understand you know I, I generally speak English but uh, in between the patois there's English so figure anyway made the dumplings making the dumplings um put it down for a little bit and i always like to put them down and uh, put in some pimento seed and um i should put the pimento seed in the beginning i always put in the beginning but i forgot so i put the pimento seed in after i put in all the food and then i put in the bullion I always put a, a thing a bullion the thing good thing is with it is when you put the bullion in you might not have to put salt after you put the bullion and the um and the um the, the noodle you might not have to put any salt if you don't know bullion you know i just took that out take it out to show you what it looks like put in the dumplings and and stir the pot you know stir the pot and make all the bullion melt out and all of that stuff um, just like you're making beef soup it's no different and as usual i always pour the the um the noodle in a bowl and throw water on it stir it up so that a lot of time you cook soup and when you look all this stuff is inside of the bottom of the pot and it didn't get uh, transferred into the liquid so i i pour it out mix it first and then pour it into the pot uh, into the soup you know so that um it's already diluted and, and um ready for um then i put back all the um all the cow cut to get all that flavor from all the seasonings and and stuff and i stir that you know always stir after each addition and yeah so my soup is cooking and i didn't put back the pressure cooker cover i just use another pot cover because i didn't want to pressure anything after this you know so I put my um I get my scallion and my thyme and one pepper. The kids are gonna drink some so I didn't want to um 
put burst the pepper but I drop all of them in there stir it again and leave it to cook to finish cooking because you know once you put in all of this your soup is almost ready to be taken off cover it up let it simmer for a little longer and let all that um, let everything cook and come together because you need to get the noodles cooked especially and of course get the thyme and the scallion cooked out a little bit so it um, give it all that flavor and um, you know supposedly these kind of soup you know is supposed to make men strong <laughs> but women drink it does it make me strong I don't know anyway that was the end of the soup I made it and I share mine out and man it was good tasted very good I I um, had a little taste and of course I had my um, pieces of cow cut in there my daughter said I should cut it up small and I should have <laughs> she was scared to drink it <laughs> she drink a little anyway and my granddaughter loved it <laughs> so this is my coconut soup you know this is how I made it um, I want to thank you all for watching my channel and, and, and liking my videos and um, please if you have not subscribed to my channel and you want to see like my videos please subscribe click the bell if you want to get updated when I upload new videos also um, there's a little in this window you're looking at there's a little red thing at the bottom you can click that that's uh, takes you to to, 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 um, to subscribe it's my subscribe thank you bye Mm. Mm. I haven't had this in years.